Well, he may have won their party's run for president, but Donald Trump still facing attacks from Republicans and conservatives. And our next guest says they're making a big mistake. Here to explain is syndicated radio talk show host and founder of PragerUniversity.com. Dennis Prager joins us today from L.A. Uh, Dennis, what are you talking about? Why do conservatives still attack Trump but should not? I actually fi finally figured it out because I just want to say so people understand where I'm coming from. I was totally anti-Trump through the primaries. Right. I wrote column after column against him. I, he was my 17th choice. I just <laughs> want to make that clear. However, from the first column, I wrote that if he's the nominee, I will vote for him. Once he was the nominee, I passionately campaigned for him. And now I am still, so to speak, campaigning for him. And there's a very simple reason. There is something considerably worse than Donald Trump, and that is the left. And what conservatives who are attacking the president don't seem to understand is what the, what the nature and depth of the threat to America that the left, not liberals, classical liberals are a non-issue to me. Mm -hmm. I admire them. But the left, which is now the Democratic Party, is operatively the left, poses to the United States. And I'll just give you one, uh, one sentence here. When Barack Obama was running, he said... We are five days away from fundamentally transforming the United States of America. That's what the left wants to do, fundamentally transform this country. I don't. All right. Dennis, uh, you, you write that people, particularly conservatives, need to realize we're in a civil war and he is the commander yeah. in chief. So if you believe in all things conservative or Republican-ish, you need to get in the boat, even though you might have to ho may have held your nose to vote for Donald Trump. That's exactly right. You know, I get I get. Listen, I the beauty about appearing with you is that, you know, I, I, I can rehearse all of these things because I have a three hour show every day. So people call me up and they go, well, come on, Dennis, the lesser of two evils is still evil. They told me this during the, the campaign. And I said, no, the lesser of two evils is more good. Right. <laughs> People don't seem to appreciate that fact. And I don't believe he's evil. I think it's wildly overstated, and I can't stand most of his tweets. And he doesn't speak like I do. It doesn't matter. He has achieved more conservative victories than both than all the Republican presidents, that is the two Bushes, mm -hmm. since Ronald Reagan. Wow. It is, and I, if any of these conservatives who are anti-Trump would have been told in one year, you will have the most conservative cabinet in history, right. you will pull out of the Paris Accords, you, you will have a Supreme Court justice who was conservative, they would have said, wow, Cruz won? Right. <laughs> That's a great point. So, Dennis, for the conservatives who may not be on the Trump train right now, what's your message for them? That we are in a civil war, and if you don't recognize it, then obviously it doesn't matter. You want, you want someone who talks like you and you could be proud of and so on. And as I wrote in my response to the, to the criticisms of me, and by the way, they were all very respectful, thank God, as is mine to them, because most of these guys are my friends, and most of them have made videos for Prager University on the Internet. So it's just a painful battle that we're having here. But, but I, I want them to understand flawed people can do great good. That is the way it is. I'm a religious Jew. I studied the Bible, and so do religious Christians, and they know God uses flawed people like King David and Rahab the prostitute. So it, it, I, I guess maybe if you're more biblically oriented, you can understand flawed people can do good things. And you say Donald Trump so far has done a lot of great stuff. All right, uh, Dennis Prager, yes, we thank you very yes. much for joining us from Los Angeles.